Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about the second book in my reading list recommendation series. Um, and before I do, I just want to say that from the first two recommendations that I make, you might get the impression, or some people might get the impression, that I am a traditionalist. And I just want to say that is not the case. I'm not a traditionalist, um, but nor am I a modernist. So I sit somewhere between the two. That's a complex question, which I maybe will address in future episodes. But for now, I just want to deal with talking about this book. And the book that I'd like to talk about today is A Pattern Language by Christopher Alexander. And this is a book that actually was on my undergraduate reading list, although I'm pretty sure it was on the bottom of the list. Um, I did not pay enough attention to this book when I was an undergraduate, and I wish I had. But I wish I'd paid a lot more attention to it. Um, it's not quite a theory book. It's more a practical guide with a series of tips, a very long list of tips, which Alexander calls patterns. Um, and why he calls that calls and patterns is sort of explored in the other books that are related to the, this one. There's a sort of series of three, but which I haven't read. Uh, but I have read this one, and this one is very, very useful. So just want to talk a little bit about the book. So as I say, it's basically a series of design tips, a great long list of design tips. Uh, there's 248 of them, I think, in total. And each one of them covers, well, there's, there's different sections that cover different parts like urbanism and interiors and all different, different parts of a building. And 253 in total. And most of them, I'd say at least 90%, probably more like 95% of them, are extremely useful. And each of them has a summary of about three pages. Uh, they have sort of little summary sentences as well, which makes flicking through the book very easy. The kind of book, kind of thing you want to be using this book for, really, is having next to you when you're designing. So it acts to me almost like a reminder list. So when you're designing a building, when you're in the process of designing a building, you can flick through this book, if you have it next to you, and you'll read the little segments. You might come across a segment you've forgotten about, or you might come across something that you hadn't thought of, and it might trigger a thought, a design thought in your mind that you think, oh yeah, I can incorporate that into my building here, or maybe I can incorporate that over there. And over time, you'll come to incorporate a lot of the elements, a lot of the rules, well, rules is really the wrong word, um, into your own design um, abilities, effectively. And like I say, about 90% of the, of the tips in here are very, very good tips. They're very, very good design tips. Um, some of them are a little bit questionable and perhaps a little bit dated. Uh, I, I don't personally agree with absolutely all of them, although, like I say, I would probably agree with at least 90% of them. Um, and as I say, this book would have been extremely useful had I paid more attention to it earlier on, because um, over time you come to absorb all the kind of little design tricks that it has, and then you don't really need the book after, after a while, except as a reminder, and it does, because it has so many tips, it does act as a reminder um, as to something you might want to incorporate in a design that you haven't thought of before. So overall, a very good book. I'm not entirely a subscriber of the whole of Alexander's philosophy, um, to the extent that I understand it. I've not dug into it hugely deeply. Um, but to the extent that I have, it has a lot of very valuable insights. Some of it's a little bit woolly, but that you can overlook that basically for the for the extremely positive vast majority of it that's extremely useful uh, and extremely valuable. So this, I'd highly recommend this one. Grab a copy, keep it by you as you're designing, flick through it, and generally a very, very useful book to have with you. That is A Pattern Language by Christopher Alexander. Finally, everyone, if you like the sorts of interviews that I do on this podcast, usually, I also do them on topics that are not related to architecture, usually around academia, the environment, politics, that kind of thing. And I put them together in a podcast that I call Life, the Universe and Politics. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's under my name, Bruce Buckland, or search Life, the Universe and Politics in your podcast provider. 
please subscribe to these. They're really great conversations. I can particularly recommend the Tom Williamson one and the Tara Brabazon one. They are fantastic conversations. Please check them out. Subscribe if you can. Thanks a lot.